Welcome to Mango Plays Fran Bo. So this has been on my wish list a little while and I just got a notification today that they've got a sale on. So I picked it up with a 70% discount. Uh, so if you do find it interesting, you'll find the Steam link down below. A little bit about the game. Fran Bo is a creepy adventure game that tells the story of Fran, a young girl struggling with a mental disorder and an unfair destiny. After witnessing the gruesome and mysterious loss of her parents found dismembered at their home, Fran rushes into the woods together with her only friend, Mr. Mad Midnight even, a, a black cat that Fran had previously received as a present from her parents. In the forest, Fran goes into shock over the loss of her parents and when she recovers, she's at Oswald Asylum, an oppressive mental institution for children, and Mr. Midnight is nowhere to be found. So this has um, got some really good reviews on Steam. Um, Rock Paper Shotgun said, Imaginative, strange, unsettling, intelligent and charged with a rare and beautiful sense of hope. Um, Indie Games said, Frambo makes you love its main character even if you hate her for dragging you to these gruesome places. And True PC Gaming says, I often get feelings while playing this game that I haven't experienced in quite some time. So... Let's click new game. That's good to know. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Her eyes are creepy. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder... It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. Oh. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh, look at the cat drinking the milk. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night, I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh, hello. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mum, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Uh oh. Mum? Dad? Please don't. Mummy? Daddy? Wow, that, that, that's a scene. That's um, pretty impressive about conveying it. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Uh, Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Uh, let's say I'm fine, I guess. 
I'm fine, I guess, just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. I need my cat. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. That is not true. But now I have something for you, Fran. Uh, what is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. So we've got use, combine, and examine. Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. Uh, I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it, you are out of control, young lady. <laughs> Uh, can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. Lovely. What medicine? It is called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Um. Anything new today, Dr. Dean? Nothing, actually. It's some same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. Um, look, the hand gets all creepy. I'm wondering if I can escape. Doesn't look like I can. I don't feel good. Oh! 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 Um, can I move? Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Oh, well, that, that was a good result. I think. Beware, Frambo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Oh, lovely. Aww. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Oh. Chapter one, my sober day. Why would you have creepy clown picture in in an asylum? Like, I'm still here, hideous place. I like this. That's a thought. I have I have to get out of here. Yep. Uh, Frambo, 10, female. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details admitted. Treatment, Dr. Marshall Dean has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Psycho what? I'm not that for sure. Okay, let's have a look at these. Red and Tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. 
He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Okay, Lord, well, let's have a look over here then. Hello, that's our neighbour. He looks he, he looks a bit pale. Hello, Phil. Did she just curtsy? Uh, let's see how he is. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. Uh, they are just stupid. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. Okay? Uh, the key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Uh oh. Hello! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Well, he just helped me a bit. Leave me alone. I hate you. Aww. Mummy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Uh, the patient has come to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brunstone. The boy has developed paranoid behaviour, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marshall Din. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Oh, poor Phil. I understand why you wouldn't trust them. Let's see what's in his suitcase. This seems really rude. Uh-oh, a secret box. Shush. Uh, examine. A little box. It's open. Well, then let me open it. The key. This will certainly open something. Okay. Well, let's um go all the way over here. Aha, it's a nurse. My legs are just fine. <laughs> uh, towels, towels. I don't need towels. I bet you'll need towels later. Hello, Fran. Good to see you. You are awake. Thank you, miss. Now go. I'm working. Okay. Well, that's good. Maybe she won't notice me try and leave out this door. Of course, it's locked. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Uh, will he tell me how to get through? Okay, right. Nope. Let's keep going this way then. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the never nurse would never let me touch anything. I know that the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? Hmm. This is where I find out I'm useless at puzzle games. Hello, Fran. Good to see you are awake. Okay, how long was I asleep? Three days. Blimey. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Uh, alright. Hmm. Ah, maybe I can go to the door and use the key that's in the purse. Key is too tiny. <laughs> if I sit down, I'll eventually get up, so what's the point? I oh, miss the wooden horse. Are you having a good time? Okay. Aha! Let's look out the curtain then. Holy mo, something fell. Right. 
I'll save it to play private later. Okay, let's get a towel. Please, let me have a towel. Ooh, locked. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so we got a bobby pin and a photo. So this is obviously our family. Uh, examine that. Uh, my hair clip. I should give it a good use. Uh, maybe we can pick the lock. Need something else. What about this? The shape is not right. Uh, combine with that? No. Like what? What else do you need, woman? And she went to sit. Uh, that. Uh, probably him. Oh, here we go. Blimey, it's like a prison. Tower defense, we have for you a crazy person. Or is it defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay. Um, right, so... Doesn't really tell me much. Actually. Blimey. Okay. I will get your nose, I will get it. Are you happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Aha! Oh, hopefully this won't fall on my head whilst I'm sleeping. Um, anything from... Can I take the pin? Can I take the pin? Nope. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Oh, Lady Nurse, I did something. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? Broke the curtains. I broke. I was trying to look outside and accidentally broke the curtains. Puff. Accidentally, I have to fix this. Follow me. Aha! I've been. I've been clicking for a while. To be fair, on everything. Okay. But ah. Uh, Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Uh, what's a hook? Uh, what's on a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. So I wonder if you actually tell her. Ah, oh, she's left the room, quick! Uh, Fran, the patient has what? Been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water. But I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Uh, what's this? A and H, okay. Band-aid. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have a mild to severe 
deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in this world. Isn't that the same as up here? And this can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Okay. I think that's where the medicine is, but it's locked. Why would the... Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Can, can I shut the door? Ah, good, right. Don't want to get caught. Um, can I go out now? Um, okay, what have I got? I've got something that says hide. Let's have a look. Okay, yep. There's still, I still don't have what I need to get out of this room. Oh, hang on. Code. Right, so 8, 9, 4, 5. 8, 9, 4, 5. 8, 9, 4, 5. Okay. Um... The pills. Kitty told me these would help me. Oh. Hello, Miss Nurse. <laughs> Get out, creepy creature. What? Ah, a knitting needle. It was not me. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Uh, no, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Huh? Um. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Yeah, clown picture's gone. Oh. Would you like a hug? Oh. To happiness. There's a deer there. You can see. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Phil was playing with his uncle and his, the uncle was mad. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mummy is not happy. Uncle will die. Alright. Alright, yep. Yeah. Let's uh, combine that with that. And then let's use that on the door. Oh, hello. Daddy was not there, mummy would not care. No idea. That's boarded up. Oh, hello! You're my beloved friend, bit, bit, broom. So we're going to have a room. Obviously, this is our parents and the toilets or the stairs. Let's have a look in the upper room. Ah, this is creepy, man. Oh, it's the clown from the painting. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Uh, the patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Um, has been come close to the patient through drawing therapy. She is making progress. Uh, tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. 
I don't know, do, do we click the pill bottle again? To stop the visions? Okay, the king likes drawings. Hello? I don't like this. Interesting. Oh, it's looking through the window. Right. Okay. So I can't actually go through it. What? This wasn't here before. There we go. Right, so that's still... And look, it's just a toy box and she's just drawing. Hello! You see them, you do, right? What? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? Uh huh, I can't see them, but I know they are there. I wish I didn't see them. You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it too. But tell me more. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. Yeah, okay. Wow. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Hmm. Right, okay. Can I have it? Yes, many colours, but you know they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses, they tie me up and when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too, it hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself, then comes the red milk, look. Oof. Please cure me, yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Deep and dark. Oh. Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. Are you sure? You told me to go and eat. Did I? Hmm. Alright then, carry on. <laughs> that worked. Oh. What? What's going on? That's some keys there. Who are you? So the king hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. Wow. You should kiss your butt. What bastard? You can kill kiss your butt. Uh, what happens if I take one? Ah, reach the key. Mr. Pig is naked. Wasn't there a door here? Okay, let's um explore downstairs a bit. Hello. I will laugh at you. Okay. Oh. Um. Ah. Oh. Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. This is creepy. Look at me. I say I care while you're dying of hunger and thirst. I draw pain. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look in here. There's a dead nurse. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone feels ashamed of you. Oh no, the lady nurse died. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, look at he's wearing a mask. Uh Where's this thing? Like, there's a gap here. Used. Use cinnamon bun with you cinnamon buns, sure. Um Yeah. Uh, a little lemonade. What's these? Chocolate bonbons? Yay! Let's talk to the nurse. Hello! Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? I see dead animals. I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear you're fine. Carry on now. Uh... Nurse, could you open the late yellow door? It's not very appropriate to ask. I think you should go to your room now. I just woke up. I'm not tired. Then go do something other than bother me. Okay. Let's have a look out here. Oh, that was a person. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, I wanted to know. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He would eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look through here. Oh wow, he's had a lobotomy. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper is not working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. What does the paper do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Alright. Human testing approved. Breaking news. That sounds like that might be the right one. It works, it works, a miracle, thank you. Paper vision positive. Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Thank you, I suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy, paper vision revision in action. Okay, let's take some paper then. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. It's amazing how many sort of sentences they have. Isabel? She won't wake up. Okay. Alright, so I still can't get into their... Chilly breeze of sadness. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, so let's go through here. Wow, it's all blurry. A bleeding clock. Hello up there, miss. Alright, um... We have to go kiss the guard guy, don't we? That's the office key. It must be, but what can I do to reach it? Hey, what are you looking at? The key, can I have it? You'll give me the key? Ugh. Oh, good. Okay, I'm glad that this isn't actually... Die with a pineapple. Wow, she likes insulting his butt. Uh, can I write on that? Can I go in here? Right, so that's the office door. Okay. Well, 
do you know what, guys? I think I'm going to end the episode there. Got a feeling it's going to take me a while to work out how to get into the office. Let me know what you think of the game down below. And, um, yeah. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.